Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the D-Class Drift Yosemite. This is priced at $1,300,000, but it also is available for a trade price of $981,000. And this vehicle is based on the Ken Block's Ford F-150 Huni truck. So you can see that there's lots of resemblance just like the real life one from the front angle or even the side angle, the wheel arches and all those uh, massive twin turbos in the front hood. So this is just uh, like the real life one guys. There's so much resemblance. I mean the hood twin turbos, well Rockstar really did uh, pull it off with this vehicle. Yeah, going to the side profile, we have got a uh, you know similar looking ones just like the real life one. They've got crazy customization. So we'll get it to the real life build you know as much as possible. We have got the slammed version of the Yosemite in the earlier DLCs. So this one is a kind of a jacked up version of the previous one. This is not the slammed one or the air suspension one. So yeah. Whoa. And this thing does crazy really. Look at how long this is holding up. It's kind of unrealistic but you know. That's the longest wheelie I've done actually. And there's quite a lot of wheel spin with this, you know, it kind of struggles to go ahead. And, uh, you know, signs like uh, it's uh, very overpowered or something. So, yeah, let's go with the customization. We'll be doing the real life build for this. So, let's see what we can do. And for the primary paint, we'll be going with uh, matte finish. So, we'll be choosing a uh, light grey. Yeah, we'll go with the light grey itself. So, you know, there'll be libraries and all. So for the second paint, it's in a matte black. Okay, it changes the lower section. Then going to the wheels. Well, the stock wheels are quite unique to this car and the paint of it can also be changed. The outer walls of it. So if you guys want to change the paint of it, well, I've actually made a guide showing the two of the best ways to change the stock wheels color in GTA Online. I've included both ways, you know, just in case one of them doesn't work. So make sure to check out that video. You can get the stock wheels color changed in GTA Online. And then the interiors, I don't think we can change them. I'm not sure. Well, we can actually change the interior paints. So that's kind of cool. And I'll just stick to darker shade one. Next, going to the modifications, we have the spoiler one. Oh, we can remove the tailgate. So <laughs> I don't know why, but we can do that. We have the short tailgate spoiler, the medium one. The real life one has a longer one. So I think we'll have to look for that. We even have the bed cap. Well, I don't want to get that. Oh, so there is the tall tailgate uh, spoiler. So I think this is the closest one we'll be getting to the real life one. We have the track wing, track wing too. Well, personally, I'm not a fan of these. Well, it actually does suit the vehicle, but just for this uh, real life build, we'll be going with the tall tailgate spoiler. That's the closest thing we can get to the real life one. And next we have the front bumpers. We have, we can remove the bumper. So the chrome thing will be removed. Uh, blacked out one kind of looks good, you know, without that chrome thing. And uh, we have a smooth bumper. We have smooth bumper and the spoiler. Vented. We have Mark II also. So there's fog lights on the Mark II ones. There's also the splitter one. Okay. Uh, I think I'll go with the no bumper and a chin spoiler for this kind of like the blacked out one next with the rear well we have uh, option just to remove the rear bumper so yeah we'll go with that then we have the side skirts well that is actually the rear bed we have the primary one secondary one rusted also uh, chrome anti-skid we have quite a few of them and wood well i don't i don't think this will suit the build so i'll go with the chrome anti-skid roof bed next we have exhaust we have just one option so the exhaust is just like the real life one just behind the front wheels uh, i think i'll go with the stock one itself this looks much better next we have the roll cage we have normal roll cage the reinforced bed okay so in the back side the normal one just changes the inside one you can see there's a normal roll cage that's added to the inside so when we go to the reinforced bed it also adds a roll cage to the back of it and finally we have the high roll bar so that is just like the real life one so we'll probably be going with that next moving on we have the grill primary grill okay this uh, just paints the grill color to the body or the secondary one oh we can even dechrome it so yeah obviously we'll go with that 
next we have the bonus we have the secondary one we have the rusted uh, it won't suit the build then we have the carbon one i don't think libraries should be going on this carbon one so i'll not go with that we have the ram air as well <laughs> this would look good to you know to those who do this uh, drift builds and all but for this build we won't be going with that we'll go with the secondary hood you know we can put libraries on top of it next we have the sun stripes well, the real life one too does have this sun stripe, so I'll go with that. Next, we have the roof that is the bed covers. There's the black one, there's the primary one, secondary, and also the rusty bed cover is also there. So, we won't be going with any of those, we'll just go with the stock one. Let's just get off all these performance upgrades. I mean, we'll be testing it two times, you won't be doing that, so. Let's get off all of the performance upgrades and also as you can see in the suspension setting you can completely lower the vehicle just like the real life one even that is kind of you know lowered to the ground so we can do that and going to the libraries we have oh god this looks ugly we have the track master okay so kind of a decent one and a dark cutout we have the patriot one we have the rat race so kind of the rusty ones and then the rusty flame ones is also there so pretty cool we have the drift assault okay with the us flag and finally we have the real life looking one i mean you know kind of resembling uh, one to the real life so it's uh, the raga rum technically you know rockstar doesn't do the real life one so they have you know changed it up a little bit but still you've got uh, libraries all on the sunroof on the front hood the front bumper everywhere so just like the real life one guys i pretty much like how it how this uh, came out so yeah we'll be going with this next window tint as usual all uh, blacked out but no for this build i think i'll stick to you know transparent windows next we have the wheels let's uh, check out for the wheels i don't think there's uh, the exact looking of five spoke ones so yeah there's nothing that actually resembles the real life one so i think i'll probably be sticking to the stock ones itself you know the tire textures and all it's kind of cool on this so we'll probably stick to the real life one and finally we have extra oh that just removes the turbos no so yeah finally guys we made the real life version of the d-class drift yosemite uh, that is the ken blocks ford f-150 hunitra i just hope we can you know do some crazy drifts with this thing at least somewhat better ones than compared to the previous vehicles it does feel like it's kind of overpowered well we just gotta check it out well i'm kind of terrible at uh, drifting in this game so you guys be the judge of it all right moving on to the speed test i mean the build came out just like the real life one you know it's kind of cool so yeah let's go and a wheelie at the beginning <laughs> I'm kind of not expecting, you know, some crazy acceleration or or the top speed with this thing. I mean, after all, it's not built for speed. So, yeah, but still, let's check out the top speed, what this thing will be offering. And we have already crossed 100 miles per hour. Around 3 miles per hour. And 106 miles per hour is the top speed of this vehicle, guys. So, that's pretty cool. You know, not too great or anything, just a decent number. Compared to the other cars, this is kind of okay. I mean, actually we'll be using this just for drifting and also not for like uh, racing or anything. So other than these car shows and all. Oh, and a plane again. Huh. I like that. That's cool. So coming back to the vehicle, as I was saying, we won't be using this, you know, to you know, race around GT Online. We'll be using this mainly for this uh, car shows or even for drifting all around the map. So it's kind of cool that Rockstar did this but the pricing is quite high at 1.3 million dollars that's in the you know sports car category some of the best cars are priced at that range and this thing coming at that uh, price point uh it kind of you know makes me want to step back but yeah you can also get it for the trade price of 980 thousand dollars so you guys can decide if it's uh, worth it or not you know i'll, I'll leave it to you guys it's because it's all personal preferences so yeah those are all the customizations and the small speed test of this vehicle guys and uh, i loved how it turned out in the end and make sure to stay tuned as up next we are getting the albany vstr which is the cadillac ctsv 
So yeah, do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you all and have a good day.